The trailer for Cold War is out now, but I want to go over the details of Cold War and what we know so far, including the beta, pre-orders, the different editions, and gameplay info for Warzone campaign zombies and multiplayer. So that's what we're going to cover in the video. First, if you want to support my channel and continue to see shorter content, then help by watching as much as you can, liking and commenting. So there are three distinct editions of Cold War, each offering different things. The standard edition, which will cost you $60, the cross-gen bundle which is $70 and the ultimate edition which will be $90. All digital editions include the confrontation weapon pack which I will go over later and the things to note here are first that if you purchase the standard edition you will be able to upgrade to the next gen version for $10 so if you purchase the $60 one and you get the next gen console then you can upgrade for the $10 extra it won't cost you any more if you decide to get standard and then upgrade to cross gen now the standard edition can still be played on the next gen consoles as they're backwards compatible but you should note that any of the features that the next gens offer won't be available if you just own the standard edition. If you want to see the upgraded version of the game on next gen, you will have to pay that extra $10, or you can simply buy the cross gen bundle straight from the beginning to save hassle, as I assume it's a separate download. So the standard edition and the cross gen bundle are just the same. The cross gen bundle simply allows you to make use of next gen consoles features. For the Ultimate Edition, this includes a dual entitlement for Black Ops Cold War, the Land, Sea and Air Pack, which I will go over in a minute, and a Battle Pass bundle including 20 tier skips. You will also receive 10 tier skips for Modern Warfare right now if you pre-order this edition. PC players can purchase the Digital Standard Edition, which is $60, or the Ultimate one for $90, and it's available through Battle.net. All editions for the PC include the Confrontation Weapon Pack and Open Beta Early Access. The Ultimate Edition for PC will also contain the Battle Pass bundle, which I mentioned previously. So guys, those are all the editions of Cold War. You can get Standard, you can get Ultimate Edition, and on console there is the Next Gen Edition. So what about those pre-order things? We'll start with the Land, Sea and Air Pack. Themed around three classical dimensions of warfare, ideal for executing deniable operations in the field, this nine item bundle will grant three vehicle skins, operators, and three weapon blueprints. The land theme pack, you will get the ground infantry with bandolier and mesh face camouflage operator skin, sucker punch weapon blueprint, and red bear vehicle skin. For the sea theme, you will get the special operations wetsuit, the black tide assault rifle for the weapon blueprint, and leviathan skin for the vehicle. Lastly, the Air Theme Pack, Airborne Division Operator Flight Suit for your Operator Skin, Wingman Pistol Blueprint, and you will get the Death Dealer Skin for your vehicle. Next, all pre-orders will come with the Confrontation Pack. The pack includes Sergeant Frank Woods as a playable Operator, an Assault Rifle Weapon Blueprint, Quip, and Finishing Move. And that's unlockable in Modern Warfare, not Black Ops Cold War. Everyone who pre-orders the game will get access to the beta. We don't have the release date for the beta just yet, but what we do know is if you pre-order the game on PlayStation, you will get the beta up to five days early. Personally, I'm not a big fan of them since I have an Xbox, which means I will have to buy both versions. But if you want to play the game early, then you will be able to play it on PS4. Lastly, some other features of the game. We know that there will be a campaign set in the early 80s during the Cold War and before the original Black Ops story. We will have zombies, although nothing has been shown yet, and I expect to have the trailer for that after the multiplayer trailer. Warzone will of course be returning, and for Warzone, and it's good news, all operators, weapons and more will be available for both games, so everything you've earned in Modern Warfare will carry over, and anything you unlock in the new Black Ops will be playable in Modern Warfare. Multiplayer will also be coming as well, and we have seen a small teaser of what to expect, and the full reveal is coming on September 13th, and according to the trailer, the images you see here are shown from the PlayStation 5. Last up, we have cross-play and cross-gen support will be featuring again, and hopefully there will be an option to turn this off on Xbox this time, since PC has a lot of cheating problems. There will be tons of free post-launch content, including multiplayer maps and modes, and the Battle Pass will be returning. Guys, that's everything you need to know about Black Ops Cold War and the beta, pre-orders, and more. I will be back as soon as there's any more info to share or any game updates. So to stay up to date, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.